Hi my beautiful Libras and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your May the 21st until the 28th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. So for me I'll be doing a giveaway. This is the last chance to enter. All um, the giveaway winners will be three of them. We'll get to win a question from me. So if you're interested all you have to do is either subscribe to my channel or if you've already done that in the description box below there's a link to my Instagram or my Facebook page and you can follow me on there. I've also listed in the description box below everything you guys need to know for my personal readings. So if you want a one-on-one -on -one reading based on your energy, all the information will be down below. Okay, so now that I've got that out of the way, let's see what can I get for my beautiful Libras. Libra, Libra, Libra. What can I get for my beautiful Libras? Show me. What do I need to see? What do Libras need to see for their love lives? What do Libras need to see for their love lives from the 21st to the 28th? What can we get for my beautiful Libras? Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And children. Your love life is being affected by children. For some of you, I feel like this could honestly be your partner acting like a child. This could be your partner not expressing themselves to you. And because of that, you feel like you want to give up. But I feel like, you know, if you still make the effort, if you still push towards this person, you will eventually get them to open up, you know, maybe don't be so, you know, pushy towards them opening up, but just be, you know, putting in the effort to build that connection with them, to get them to trust you. They will open up on their own time, but for some of you, I just have a strong feel, sorry. Oh, oh my bad. For some of you, I just have a strong feeling like, you know, your partner's acting a little bit childish. Some of you could be dealing with somebody who hasn't really had experiences with, you know, such strong connections or an experience with a long lasting relationship, something stable. So for them, you know, oh my bad, I'm sorry guys. So for this person, I feel like, you know, they don't know how to act around you. They don't know how to act. They don't know how to, you know, this person does adore you though. You know, they really, really adore you. And, um... You know, follow their actions. This person may not be able to speak, but your their actions will tell you. Just the way that they kiss you, the way that they look at you, you know, the way that you catch them looking at you. I feel like you can tell just by all of those little things with this person. And it's like, you're really going to have to use your actions with them because they're not somebody that opens up very well. But I do see that you guys do need to have an honest, open discussion. So... You know, work towards having the honest and open discussion with your partner because I feel like it's really going to help you guys in ways that, you know, ways that you already know because, you know, if, if there's something that you need to express and you're not expressing it, you're holding yourself back, right? And I feel like you're not expressing yourself because they're not expressing themselves and then it's just kind of like a cycle, but... I do see here that you should follow your intuition, you know, you are guided by your intuition because... Your intuition knows what's best for you. Your gut knows what's best for you. It is stronger than, you know, your mind. So trust your intuition. Follow what your intuition tells you to do. And I feel like if you start doing it, it does take, you know, a lot of faith to be able to trust your intuition. So once you start doing it, I feel like you'll realize that a lot of things in your life will balance out. And if you don't want to take a leap of faith and trust your intuition within your relationship, try within your career, within something small. And once you see that it only leads you to good, you will realize that you can trust your intuition when it comes to love as well. A lot of us know our intuition's right, but then our mind just gets in the way, right? So, some of you may be having, you know, honest conversations with your child, with your, sorry, with your partner about having children, you know, wanting the fact that you want children, really talking, maybe you've been dating for a while, together for a while, and now you're like ready for the next step, or you want to know what their goals are for the future because you're at a time in your life where you already know what you want, and you want to be aligned with somebody who wants the same thing, so you're going to be refreshing and having a conversation with them about whether they want children, if they don't, if you guys are going to start planning to have children, you know, all of those serious questions.
So whoever is very unsure about the situation, unsure about the connection, you know, whoever needs to make a decision, whoever needs to get clear and, you know, follow their intuition. This is also about, you know, trusting your intuition, knowing that your intuition will never fail you. Somebody needs to get clarity or somebody needs to make a decision. And, you know, once they decide, once you or this person decides to trust your intuition, you are going to get the clarity that you want, but you're also going to get the victory that you want. You know, you're going to realize the love, this love for what it is, or they're going to realize this love for what it is, but it all comes with, you know, going within, trusting your intuition and not really your mind, you know. Um, it's almost as if, you, you guys have a third eye knowing, you guys know what this connection is, you know what this relationship is, it's just that you need to trust it, and once you do trust it, you will have victory, you will have the victory that you want within this connection. Um, for some of you, it's like an emotional overload, it's like... Or like a mental overload it's like your mind you're thinking way too much about the situation and way too much about the connection and because of that you're not able to really experience the connection for what it is whereas if you just kind of stop thinking maybe meditate and do whatever you have to do to get out of your mind space then you'll really be able to feel the connection and what it really is even though you already know you already know but i see that there's going to be clarity mental clarity on what the situation is what the connection is this is also clear communication, getting clear communication from somebody that was very stuck and not really able to open up or express. You know, maybe sometimes they started to, but then they would pull back. It's like they were going to realize um, the connection and communicate clearly to you what their feelings are. This is a start of you guys being able to be open and express to each other in a more easy flowing, natural way. I feel like within the next couple of weeks, your person is going to get clarity and start to communicate towards you. <clears throat> For some of you, your person is, you know, holding back their emotions because they're not sure, you know, this decision could be whether they are want to be with you or whether they want to be with somebody else. For some of you, this person has two options, two people that they're balancing out their energy towards, focusing on, and because of that, they're not able to really communicate to you. For some of you, this could just be your career. Your person is so focused on their career and getting where they want in their career that they don't want to put too much emotion into the connection because they think that it will take away from you know, their work, which it ultimately will, but they're just unsure if that's a risk that they're willing to take right now. Um, but I do see here that, you know, this person has a lot of emotions for you. They just aren't able to express it. They're really holding back their emotions, holding back what they feel for you. And I feel like, you know, your person is heartwarming. This could be somebody that's older than you. You know, they're very mature and they do have, you know, good intentions with you. It's just that they don't know how to express their emotion. I feel like they've never really experienced that or there's something in the past that has blocked them from being able to express their emotions. You know, for some of you, even, you know, your partner could have grown up in a household where expressing emotions was a sign of weakness, so they never really did that. Some of you could be dealing with a Lib another Libra or a Scorpio. Yeah, your person definitely has a choice to make. There's definitely a choice that needs to be made here. Uh, for some of you, I feel like your person could be, you know, they know what the, you know, the thing is that they know what the connection is. They know how strong the connection is. It's not that they want anybody else. It's that they are afraid. They're afraid to go for it. They're afraid to take a risk. So because of that, they're filling up all of their energy and all of their time with other people, other options that are nothing compared to you. But at the same time, it is getting their mind off you. It is getting them a little bit further from, you know, 
giving your you their all because you know what this person has a lot of feelings for you they really do have a lot of feelings for you so much that you wouldn't you would never know like once this person starts to express their emotions to you you'll begin to wonder how they could ever hold in that much you know but they have a lot of emotions for you and they know that this is somebody that when they give they give their all you know they don't do anything half-assed everything they do they put all of their energy all of their effort into so once they do open up that emotional you know their emotional center to you it's going to take things to a whole another level and they're not ready for that so what they're trying to do is they're trying to you know avoid that by focusing on other options that you know are pro it's their superficial options but at the same time you know it's getting their mind off of you getting their mind off of you know they're just finding other ways to entertain themselves so that they don't have to open up to you but you know this person is going to realize that they can't have all these other options that all these other options are empty it's not the connection that they have so they're going to have to realize that they're going to realize that and they're going to have to make a decision you know do i want these superficial options or do i want the person that makes my heart sing so they're definitely going to be making a decision Okay, last one. Two of Cups. So it looks like, you know, like what I was like what I was sensing is that the two of you guys have, you know, a really strong connection and they already know it. They're only fooling themselves by looking at these other options. They already know like your heart belongs to this person. They already know it. They've known it for a very long time, but they've been avoiding it. And it's almost like you, I feel like you may come towards them and start expressing the way that you feel in a very, you know, straight up way where it's like, you're not holding anything back. And because of that, they're going to start to feel more safe with you. And they're going to, you know, start to slowly open up towards you. I do see here that the connection is completely mutual. You guys do have mutual feelings for each other. So if that's something that you were concerned about, don't be concerned. This person does love you. You have this person's heart. And that is what they're going to realize. They're going to realize that this is a soulmate connection. And it's like, they've realized it, but they couldn't get... They, their subconscious fears got in the way of that. But now they're not going to let anything get in the way of this connection. Once they choose you, that's it. You know, they're going to choose you. Go through that life path with you. That's the type of person, you know, it may be, a, you could be really dealing with a Scorpio, but it may be, you know, that it takes a long time to get this person. But once you do get them, they will never look at anybody else. They will never, you know what I mean? Like this is somebody that is going to be very, very honest and very, very loyal towards you. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a soulmate connection that you have and it's beautiful because, you know, you can be dealing with a water sign too, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but this person is going to make a choice and they're going to choose their true love, which is you. It has always been you. So if they really confused you by having these other options or by, you know, being really close to you one minute and then backing off and really focusing on other people or adding people on their Instagram, talking to other people, whatever it is that they're doing, you know, just know that they're doing that because they're scared and they really do love you and they're going to really start to express that towards you. This is a connection that is strong. It's like, I feel like this is a twin flame energy, more of a twin flame than a soulmate. Um, like runner chaser kind of thing. I really feel like this is a twin flame energy, but no matter what they do, they can't run away from you. It's like no matter, even if they have a good connection with somebody else, no matter how good it is, they just think about how much better it is with you. Like you have this person's heart and it's just a matter of time before they give you their heart. So that is what I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did and you resonated and you wanted more clarity, my information is down below for a personal read. I love you guys so much. Bye, my loves.